The Honourable Member for Calgary Buffalo, followed by Edmonton Strathcona. Continuing this government's assault on the middle class, the Minister of Finance made good on the threat he made in Budget 2013 to propose sweeping changes to four of the province's public sector pension plans. Shame. I'm not sure if the Minister knows this. Increasingly, Albertans are finding it difficult to retire and changing these public sector plans will just ensure more seniors living in strife in this province. To the Minister. Why are you so eager to irreparably harm the retirement security of tens of thousands of hard-working middle-income Albertans? Mr. Speaker, I don't think it's any huge secret to recognize that the demographic of our province, our country, is changing. We have a lot more people living a lot longer than they ever were when these plans were put together. What we have today is a situation where we have a $7.5 billion unfunded liability amongst these four plans. We have subsidized early retirement benefits that are no longer relevant to the type of workforce that we're trying to maintain and to keep. Uh, incenting people to retire early is not exactly ensuring that we're going to have long-term pension plans for everyone in the system. And, Mr. Speaker, what we're doing is ensuring that that plan is there for them when they are going Honourable to Honourable Member. Given that these public sector plans have plans in place to uh, deal with the unfunded liability and put these modest public pension plans back on solid footing, exactly. why is the minister being disingenuous in saying these changes are necessary when the decision being made is simply a policy choice dedicated to further dismantling the middle class? You know, Mr. Speaker, what we're talking about is the public sector pension plans. We're not talking about all Albertans here. We're talking about public sector pension plans. The plans that he refers to, that, or the, the idea that he refers to that they gave us recommendations was, wait, let's see if interest rates rise, let's see if our investments return better, let's hope that it gets better in the future, Mr. Speaker. That's not a plan, Mr. Speaker. What we have put forward are some reasonable amendments to the plans, some reasonable uh, changes to the benefits. As well, Mr. Speaker, we've changed the governance so that in the future, if the plans do as well as the Honourable Member thinks they will, they could put these benefits back in if the plans could afford it, Mr. Speaker. Honourable Member. Well, given that a large number of Albertans who have faithfully and dutifully served their province with the expectation of receiving a modest pension in retirement, where is the fairness in changing the rules mid-game? Mr. Speaker, the fairness is that I want them to actually get the promise that they were set out in the first place. If we continue along this path, Mr. Speaker, contribution rates by those very individuals that the Honourable Member is talking about would rise so high that they would have a lot less going in their pocket today, even though it wouldn't ensure that the pension benefits they're hoping for in the future would be there. Mr. Speaker, these are reasonable amendments to ensure that the promises made to all of our public sector are going to be kept and the pension is going to be there that they need it and they want in the future, Mr. Speaker.